In this video, you will observe how to present a short case of rheumatoid arthritis. Usually, command is given, examine the hands and do the relevant examination. Sir, I have examined the patient. Patient is ill looking and emaciated. He also looks pale. On examination of hands, both wrist joints are swollen. Also, there is swelling in metacarpophalangeal joints and in the proximal interphalangeal joints. There is swan neck deformity in the left little and right index finger. Z deformity is present in both thumbs. There is ulnar deviation bilaterally. There is wasting of thinar and hypothenar muscles with dorsal guttering in both hands. There is palmar erythema. However, there is no ulcer and infarction. On palpation, all joints of both hands are tender, but tenderness is prominent in proximal interphalangeal joints. There are rheumatoid nodules on the extensor surface of left forearm. Movements are restricted in the wrist and in fingers of both hands. There is impaired functional capacity. Both knee joints, metatarsophalangeal joints and interphalangeal joints are swollen and there are deformities. There is no redness in eyes. On auscultation of chest, there are no basal crafts. Heart sounds are normal. There is no splenom galley. There is no evidence of neurological impairment. My diagnosis is rheumatoid arthritis. We'll start with the inspection. We will observe for wasting and for any scar mark. We will observe for the nail changings like onychodiasis and like pitting. swan neck deformity and bottle deformity and we will also observe for swelling of the joints basically now we will look for thinar and hypothenar wasting and for palmar edema basically we will check for the rash and for nodules We will check the temperature. 
पेशेंट इज देर एनी पेन आपको जोड़ो में दर्द तो नहीं है नहीं बाई मैन्यूली पेट एट द सेम टाइम वी विल लुक एट द पेशेंट फेस We will ask the patient to close his eyes and we will check for the sensations. Mm-hmm. 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 Check for the eyes. So, one hand, one hand. Now we'll escalate the chest for interstitial lung disease. We'll also check for anchor edema. And then we will say thanks to the patient. We hope this video will help you in the clinical exam. Moreover, you can find more videos about history taking and its presentation on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel for the next coming videos.